If I've learned nothing else in the 30 years I've been working in this building, it's that uh, the single most important job that can affect the citizens of the county for the, for the better is that of DA. And uh, with that decision, I've decided to resign as county judge, although I've been a judge for 16 years and have a few years left on my term, and uh, run for DA again. I've come to the realization that at the risk of sounding self-important or, uh, or, um, or in any way arrogant, I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be a good time for me to uh, leave this position and assist the people and the law enforcement and the local judges in the county in a time that they need it. This is highly unusual, Judge. Uh, I only remember one other time like this. Uh, why are you doing this? Well, actually, it is unusual upstate but it's not so unusual downstate. In fact, uh, the, the DA in Westchester County had been a judge. Uh, her predecessor had been a judge. The DA in Queens County had been a judge, I think. But in this area, yeah. attorneys, district attorneys, they, they want to become a judge. That's true, and I was one of them, and I was wrong. Although I was happy as a judge, uh, it's time to go back to where I was, to go back home in the DA's office. I, uh, I'm running for DA. It's a positive campaign. I'm running to assist the uh, people and to, uh, to do what I think I can do best. But don't you think that the citizens want to know what your thoughts are about the current administration, the current DA? Well, I'd like to, what I'd like to do is engage in a, in a process over the next few months between now and November and discuss with them what I can do best to help law enforcement, what I can do best to help the victims of crime, and what I can do best to uh, put the county and the, uh, and the DA's office and the court and the justice system back where it should be. I am running for a position and I'm hopeful that in doing so I can uh, assist the, the uh, people and the county in the, in the manner in which I, I know I can and which I've done in the past. You know, I, I, would, I would rather you spoke with the, the chairman of the uh, respective parties. I am seeking the nomination of the Republican Party, the Independence Party and the Conservative Party, but I'd rather you speak with, with those folks rather than I uh, having me speak for them. And I have been speak, uh, thinking about it for quite some time, in particular the last, uh, last few weeks. Why? Why the last few weeks? What happened? Well, the, the last few weeks, uh, it's become apparent to me, um, after having spoken with a number of people in law enforcement, including the uh, sheriff and the former sheriff, that it's time. Time for what? Time for uh, me to go home. Time for me to return to the DA's office and do what I like to think that I do best in serving the people of the county. I want to go. I want to provide the leadership that's needed. I want to provide the accountability that's needed. And I'm going to be responsible for in terms of the prosecutions and the investigations that be responsible. I wasn't much of an athlete, but I did like to, to play ball. And it's a lot more fun having the, having the ball than wearing stripes. I grew up on a farm and I'm, I have, uh, today I'm mailing uh, letters to all the committeemen of the Republican Party, the Independence Party, and the Conservative Party. As, uh, as you may know, uh, there's an ethics opinion that permitted me before today to stay as a judge and test the water, so to speak. Uh, but once I announce, as I do today, I have to resign. And now I uh, go full bore. I'm campaigning for DA.